CNN's Don Lemon just tore into Trump and his grifter family watch, while most people can choose to blissfully ignore the daily insanity of the manure pit that is President Trump's Twitter feed, pity the poor TV newscasters who are forced to report on every new flatulent emission from what passes for Trump's brain. That's the kind of job that can push a person over the edge. With the outrage over Trump's blatant lies and his attempts to sabotage the legitimate investigation into how much his campaign colluded with Russia to win the presidency reaching a cumulative breaking point, CNN's Don Lemon is seemingly teetering on the precipice of an explosion of truth-seeking indignation. Lemon is no longer pretending that he has even a shred of respect for the con man sitting in the Oval Office, ripping into the president and his family on air last night after a week of unrelenting tweets from Trump claiming that Democrats and federal investigators conspired to place a spy in his campaign. The CNN anchor blasted the president's incoherent screams for an investigation into the FBI's investigation of his campaign, saying that Trump is stomping all over the norms that have kept the government running for centuries. Just objectively if you look at the family and you look at the president, it seems to be a family of grifters who have gotten a hold of the executive office and who are using it for their own purposes. Lemon's comments come after the meeting between congressional leaders and senior Justice Department officials over the FBI informant who met with Russia-connected members of the Trump campaign resulted in conspicuous silence from even the most rabid defenders of the president's claims. Don Lemon, like most people following the story closely, believes that Trump is making false accusations about the FBI informant simply to save his presidency. The President of the United States is lying to us over and over and over and over again, Lemon said. We've all seen it with our very own eyes and we've heard it with our own ears. With Republicans still refusing to own up to the disastrous results of their nomination and election of Trump, the only recourse for hope on the horizon is the upcoming midterm elections. If enough people turn up to vote and hand the House and Senate back to Democratic control, the process to hold Trump accountable for his lies can finally begin and the road to impeachment can begin.